guys, welcome back to our channel, Tosh here, Skyways to Highways. As you can tell from the title of this video, uh, it's a layover. We're not in our trailer. We've already put her away for hibernation in her little den. And, uh, you know, don't go anywhere. We still have a ton of footage to show you from our travels throughout the Southwest. But uh, at this time, you know, we gotta go back to work, uh, gotta pay the bills. So this job, uh, if you haven't already guessed, we're flight attendants uh, for a major US carrier. And uh, this is what allows us to tool around on the highways and have fun uh, when we're not um, when we're not working. So uh, today I am going on my second trip back after um, having all that wonderful time off. And um, on this uh, episode, you're gonna see go through my eyes and uh, I'm really excited to show you this beautiful city. And uh, right now I'm going to be um, starting with meal prep. So I cleaned out my fridge at home in New Hampshire. Here in New York, I tooled around in this city yesterday. I went to a Turkish market and picked up some uh, uh, some spices and uh, so I am going to be using those spices uh, in uh, whatever I make today I'm, I'm just I've got a mishmash of vegetables so I'm just gonna put something together and um, and hopefully uh, you enjoy that and I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking right now I'm just gonna prep my uh, meals so I do hope that you stick around and enjoy this episode, a day in the life of a flight attendant. There's gonna be plenty more uh, hiker trailer videos. We've got a ton of footage for you to enjoy. We'll be putting those videos together. So we've got a bunch more to show you. So don't go anywhere, um, but please do join me on my layover. batch of stock with this to cook my couscous and my beans and the rest of my vegetables in. So I'm going to put this on the stove right now. Red cabbage here. It's a little rose potato because these are a little more cruciferous, takes them a little bit longer uh, in the oven. So I'm going to start with these. Okay, so I have these beautiful um, lion's mane mushrooms and, you know, they're they're not as fresh as they used to be, but they're still going to be delicious. So I just like to pull them apart and then I'm just going to saute these. Um, and these are some brown oyster mushrooms. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put these in a saute pan. I put my bok choy and my, my sprouted cauliflower uh, on top of my stock. So I'm just steaming these and I think they're ready. So I'm gonna take these out. This is some beautiful veggie stock here. Nice and rich, full of vitamins. It's gonna make some really good quinoa. Done, prepped and ready for my trip. Me about uh, a little under two hours to get all four meals prepared. But um, I wanted you to get a look at this because I mean, this looks amazing. Um, look at those vibrant colors. Um, this is my Moroccan spiced um, chickpea tagine. And I'm gonna be putting this over some quinoa or some couscous, I haven't really decided which yet, one of the two. Um, and then I'll be ready for my trip. And uh, again, I'm taking you guys with me. So I am looking forward to showing you this beautiful city and uh, follow along and I hope you enjoy this layover. Madrid. 
Madrid, had a great flight. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just take you guys uh, around, show you the sights in case you've never been to Madrid. It's a beautiful city. Although today, as you can see, uh, the weather's not so great. Uh, this is what I have to deal with today, this stuff right here. But you know, Madrid is gorgeous at any time of year. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's beautiful. And um, they love Christmas just as much as we do. So uh, Christmas is a lot of fun here. So I'm going to be taking you to the market and we're going to hit uh, Rastro, which is a wonderful little uh, fair slash market slash uh, tapas extravaganza. So we're going to take you there and, uh, and we're going to have fun. So um, I'm going to go upstairs to my room. I am going to uh, get dressed and then I'm going to head straight out and uh, we're going to see the sights. Okay guys, so it is not the most ideal day to be chasing around the city of Madrid right now. It is kind of dreary, rainy, messy, but uh, I'm in Madrid so uh, I'm not complaining. So first stop today is uh, we're going to head over to uh, El Rastro. Today is Sunday, happens to be my favorite day uh, to hang out in Madrid. And uh, it is a wonderful little market area. Actually, I can't call it little because it does take up a lot of uh, city blocks. And it's over in the La Latina area. And it's a lot of fun. There's all kinds of little shops over there. Although this is a holiday, it might be a uh, Christmas market instead of the usual uh, antiques flea. But uh, we're gonna go check it out, eat all the things. So, should be fun. It's definitely raining, <laughs> but still a good day to Rastro. This is what the area looks like. Got our umbrella up. Definitely not nearly as busy as it normally would be. Partially, I'm sure, because of the weather. But you know, Madrileños are usually undaunted, so I'm gonna say it's less because of the weather. Ooh, look at all these vegetables and fruit. I think it's less because of the weather and more because of Christmas. Oh, look at these, these are cute. There's all kinds of stuff here in this market. From jewelry, as you can see, clothing. New and used clothing, by the way. Leather goods. Um, all kinds of stuff. Oh, those are cute little, cute, cute little overalls. I want you to see the sea of umbrellas here. <laughs> I'm gonna go for some food. <laughs> so it's wearing a plastic bag that's hilarious. So this is usually the antique area. 
there's not a whole lot of antique here today. Normally, this is packed. Packed, packed, packed with antiques. And there's a guy here that sells old copper pots. Oh, you poor sex. What are you doing here? Why? Oh, and there's more down there. See, you guys, I don't think, I don't think you can possibly see everything. There's just so much. So, I am heading down to get my first bite to eat. This place called, oh, I love this shop and they're closed. They have some beautiful, beautiful antique. Oh, no, they're open. Uh-oh. Should I go in? I go in, I'm in trouble. But look at this place. Oh my gosh. I love it. Nope. I go in. I'm going to spend all the monies. And then Gary's going to be mad at me. <laughs> so. Oh no. Okay, well, my place. It's closed today. How is that possible? Oh, you guys, I'm so sad. <laughs> this place here. Oh, it's so good. Capriccio Estremeño. Um, they, they have the greatest sandwiches. They're tostas. It's like a open-faced um, sandwich. And they just added, well, the last time I was here, they added a vegan version um, which is shocking and so good um, but I don't get one today I guess Hmm, I wonder how much this is. Oh, that's nice. So this place, guys, is an awesome market. This is Mercado San Fernando. shops are closed right now. I'm assuming uh, yeah, due to COVID like everything else. But this place is awesome. And I'm going to have some food before um, heading out uh, to uh, Plaza Mayor and uh, 
to the uh, Mercado Mercado San Miguel and then uh, to Cavabaja. And I'm already running out of battery power. I don't know how that's possible, but I'm gonna eat and then um, and then I'll take you guys with me to the other area of uh, Madrid that's really awesome to hang out in. Okay, get a load of this sandwich. I mean, this looks delicious. Pretty sure that ate too much and probably can't eat another thing. But damn, that was good. That was an amazing sandwich. So I'm heading over uh, to Cavabaja now and Mercado San Miguel, Plaza Mayor. And then hopefully um, afterwards I'm gonna meet up with a couple of crew members. So I'm gonna make my way over there now if I can remember how to get there. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay guys, so I am just getting to Cavabaja, which is one of my favorite streets here in Madrid. We've got some fantastic little tapas bars here and all kinds of great food. And again, you know, it's a rainy Sunday. But I think most places will be open. And I think I'm starting packed. But La Concha is a good one for my favorites. Great spot. And I'll get off the street before I get run over. Another one of my favorites. La Chata. Really good spot. Oh boy. And my other spot. <laughs> La Perejila is also closed. Hi. All of my little spots are closed today. If you're into hams, feast your eyes. <laughs> I am not going in there, don't even ask. Oh, Mercado, Mercado de la Cebada. Let's see if it's open. Mercado de la Cebada is closed also. <laughs> but a really great market. Pretty much locals only. So I believe this is considered the oldest restaurant in all of Spain. At least that is its claim to fame. El Botín, Modegas Ricla. I love this place. What an amazing voice. So this is the entrance to Plaza Mayor, but we're gonna go to Mercado San Miguel first. Let's see. Thank you. 
locals eating paella in Madrid. So try it, but don't allow it to be your only taste of paella, because you're not going to get true, true paella here in Madrid. And, you know, some would argue with that. So this place used to be my favorite back then. But we do have the freshest, freshest seafood. This is amazing, right? That's some pretty okay prices on saffron. Although if you really want a good price on saffron, there's this spot they go to in Barcelona. And it's Barcelona too. I'm gonna have to take you there because the prices are great. So, Plaza Mayor is where they're having a Christmas market. I'm sure that it's beautiful in the evening time. But I am gonna stop over here. At a very funny, funny spot for a vegan to hang out in, but this bar is pretty, pretty interesting. So this place is called the Bogan. For a reason, <laughs> as you can see. Plus, um, vegan. <laughs> I feel ashamed that I like this place so much. But I came here, and I started coming here um, way before I became a vegan, so um, I don't hang out here often, but every now and then. In the summertime, we have a despacho that is so, so good. down today like I'm kind of um, just rain and more rain <laughs> and wind and, and all of that so I don't think I'm staying out much longer but I did want uh, you guys to see this beautiful city Madrid I hope that you did uh, get a good feel for the city and just uh, I, I wish the weather was uh, nicer because you know you're kind of missing out on the vibrancy of the people and, and and you know, with the COVID situation, a lot of places were closed, you know. Um, that's the way it is all over the world, unfortunately. And um, all we can do is, is hope that uh, things get better. And until then, um, you know, we continue on. So I am leading Plaza Mayor. I'm gonna take you through this beautiful uh, Christmas market. And then uh, I'll hit a couple more places before heading back to my hotel uh, for the evening. Uh, I still don't know where I'm having dinner. Or if I'm having dinner, I'm not sure. I've eaten so much food, so I really don't know if I'm having dinner or not. But um, I am uh, gonna show you this Christmas market and, uh, and then we'll go from there.
think I'm wearing my waterproof shirt. to show you how beautiful this store is. I mean, look at it. Come around to the side. Look at this. That's incredible. It's like Willy Wonka, the Madrid version. Oh gosh. And speaking of Willy Wonka, look at this place. Johnny's Candy shop. This is unbelievable. Look at this. I don't know why you want candy shaped like egg yolks. <laughs> but okay. Come with me. So something Madrid is known for is their oh nice and it's they have them everywhere. They're very popular. It's basically just fried culinary. Uh on a baguette. People seem to like it. <laughs> I've actually never tried one. But they're popular. There's some flamenco. They, almost, they actually have several spots that you can go. Flamenco here is amazing. So I'm heading over to Sol. Another really awesome place for that Christmassy feel. Oh, it's such a shame because none of this is lit up at night. These lights that are up here are all lit and it's just beautiful. And then there's this, uh, this really cool Christmas tree. And it's not lit yet. It's gorgeous at night. I don't know. I might stay out because you kind of have to see it. This is such a tease. <laughs> it's such a tease. Just being here and not actually showing you what it looks like in the evening with all the lights on. And, I mean, it really is stunning. It's beautiful. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just so tired of fighting the weather. <laughs> If Gary were here, maybe. This is the Seoul Station. Metro Station. But I'm not taking it yet. I'm gonna go a couple more places. Well, even Madrid runs on dumping. <laughs> There's an awful dumping guy. Which always, always makes me laugh when I come here. Lucille del Hamon. And this street has some really fun places to hang out. This bar here is open, or at least it used to be open until like 5 a.m. There's dancing downstairs, and uh, it's a pretty nutty place. It's a lot of fun. So this place here is known for their paella. So if you are looking for paella in Madrid, um, this is probably the place to be. It's called Cremea. And the good name for it. Let's see if I can get a picture of the menu. And and this place here used to be our favorite spot. It's changed ownership 
not as awesome as it used to be. But I might come in for a glass of wine. I haven't been here in a while. Um, but this used to be our hangout spot. We used to go be here every week. My friends used to work there. It was a lot of fun. Um, but this also is a good spot. Alhambra. And let's see. Oh, if you like garlic shrimp, well, let me tell you something. I mean, I don't eat them anymore, but I can appreciate some garlic shrimp. And this place right here, Casa del Abuelo. Um, specifically this one here on this side. This place here is known for their garlic shrimp. And Gamba Salahio. Especialidad de la casa. Gamba Salahio. Yeah, you want to go there for that. Coming back around to another favorite spot. Uh, hopefully, it's not closed. Oh, looks like it's open. Yep. There is another spot. Great place. And we'll probably give away all of my secrets. Gary's gonna be mad. <laughs> but this place is great. So if you're into really fancy, fancy cocktails, this hotel right here, Ana La Santa, is a really nice bar. And you can hang out there for, for fancy drinks. This place here, Cerveceria Alemania, is known to be a personal favorite of none other than Ernest Hemingway. It's one of his favorite hangouts. Allegedly. So here's another great place that Gary and I really enjoy. Um, really great wines. And um, some nice tapas. And it's just a little local place. It's not really touristy. Um, we've got some good food. It's kind of like... Uh, a total of uh, like a little deli <laughs> type of place, uh, but really good. So I think I'm gonna pop in here for for one. Oh my gosh! Look at these booties. Oh my gosh, those are so cute! <laughs> Look how adorable. Okay, so I had to make a quick little stop to buy a present for my uh, soon-to-be-arriving little niece-cousin. And um, I am now uh, here having a glass of wine. And um, I wanted to show you guys this great little place. It, it's like a deli, but it's a tapas bar and this at the same time. And um, they really just got some great stuff. And, uh, let's see here. Is there a million? Yes, there is. But really good stuff. And one of the places that Gary and I really enjoy it is a cheese in paradise. And as you can see, they've got all of the cheeses, cabrales, all of them. And 
place is just so cool. So we just hang out here sometimes. And uh, uh, this might be one of my last stops. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I'm going to enjoy some olives. Um, I'm going to have a glass of wine. And then, and then we'll go from there. La Venencia, which is amazing. It's a total show you better than that. Um, it's kind of nice. Oh, I've got my own sequel before I read it. Some pimientos del padrón and some patatas doradas. And I've also ordered some setas. But we're in here at uh, Tony. And this is an awesome little um, spot where they are going on. I mean, there's stuff here that obviously is uh, not vegan friendly. So like, but let's see where you go. Gracias. These are delicious. I love hope you enjoyed this layover. It was pretty crazy. It was a long, long day. I have not slept. I have, <laughs> I have literally um, flown into Madrid and uh, did a red eye here and I haven't slept at all yet. So I'm going to bed. Well guys, I do hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me on this cold and rainy layover in Madrid. Um, it was a lot of fun filming it and running around the town filming it for you yesterday. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of fun was had. I couldn't show you everything, but uh, there was definitely some late night dancing. Yeah. Oh, I'm so not mixing. I had wine, I'm sticking with wine. Did you want? You have some, I'll watch. <laughs> and um, yeah, we had a good time, lots of food. And good times. So if you did enjoy this layover 24 hours in the life of a flight attendant, um, leave me a comment, let me know. Maybe I'll do a few more of these because I really enjoyed it. So I am on my way back to the States and um, we'll see you on the next layover. Of course, today is nice and sunny. <laughs> <laughs> totally figures, but that's the way it is. We'll see you on the next one. I almost forgot you guys. <laughs> that would have sucked.